obviously, congratulations again for the win on Saturday. Absolutely fantastic. I've got to ask, how heavy was the, the party afterwards? Well, I think me, as in Catherine and Tom Aspinall, didn't stop drinking until about half four. Was it L or mm-hmm. half four, five o'clock? Um, and then I haven't had enough drinks since, so <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> but um, it's a party I'll never forget. Them, them ones where we go back to the hotels after big wins, they're, um, they're just, you, you, you don't forget them ones. How's the head now? Um, it just feels quite foggy and I've been back to train in the last few days and I've just, I've not really left the house because of just like anxiety, just because of how much life's changed and how different people have been. It's gone from like people just being like, you're all right, to like people running at you and screaming and just the... Um, People just like pass me their babies, take pictures with kids, and like getting them out the prams and waking them up. It's like it's a proper mad place to be when you're not used to that kind of um, moments. I think no one teaches you how to cope with this overwhelming support and love, and it's all coming from a good place with people. But it's it's just a lot to to deal with and what like a. <laughs> What a blessed like place to be in. Like my head's completely battered because of how much love I'm having, where it could be totally different if it was so much hate. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I was gonna ask actually what the response has been like back in Liverpool. Um, um, yeah. well when you think how many more pictures could I possibly take? Do you know what I mean? Like I must get stopped, I can't even tell you how many times a day. But I feel like I've done the whole population of the city, but obviously not. <laughs> um, how are you coping with the whole kind? Because you, we know you're from a working class background. You're a very salt of the earth character. Um, how are you coping with the new stardom? Because it, 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 it's, this isn't LA, is it? Liverpool. It's not like the the kind of stardom that you're getting. People asking you to take photos with babies. Uh, is it difficult to kind of cope with that kind of recognition? Yeah, um, I haven't really wanted to leave the house, which isn't like me. I haven't wanted to amaze myself with people, which is what I would normally do. I'd normally have been out every night on the aisle. And um, it's just so overwhelming. Um, someone said, like, from now on, you're public property, and that's just the way that it is, and it's very true. Um, I suppose it's just part and parcel, but no one, t- no one teaches you how to be ready. There's no, there's no course on growing up your whole career, just like working in Subway on a bar, PT, and like yeah. getting money, selling T-shirts, like any way you can spin any, and to, to honestly to make money. Um, to just to fight to then completely that change and it's like really hard to like people like screaming at me for pictures and that like when I've managed to go into like a shop or something to get some food or whatnot and I'm just like oh my god this isn't even like normal like normally someone would go I am all can I have a picture please it's like different levels so I don't know I've like I've reached out to a few famous people and I've just asked them because Paddy's like in his own world and doesn't really see it, but where I'm quite observant to everything, it's like, oh my God, I realise why people have to go to the fire you now. Yeah, I, I was going to ask, because um, both you and Paddy, like I said, are really grounded people, salt the earth, kind of working class background, down to earth people. How, how, how are you going to kind of ensure you stay grounded? Because I think you'd be the last two people we'd expect to kind of, you know, you see people get a bit of money and then they get a bit ahead themselves, but I don't think that that's a risk for you on Paddy, really, is it? No, like, we'd still bunk the train if we could, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, I probably shouldn't say that at the minute with everything going on with train strikes and that, but that's the kind of people that we are. Um, I think if we get above our station, our family, friends and partners tell us, and the more notoriety we've gained, the smaller the circles got. And it normally it normally goes the other way. So um 
you see footballers, you see like hometown hero footballers completely fluffy. Do you know what I mean? Like they get big time and then they just change and then you you always kind of go, I'd never do that and I'd never be that person. And you get put in them positions and then you see really what you all wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? But I don't know. I just can't see me and him being any different. Like he'll always eat his food and I'll always have a bevy. I think it's just who we are. Yeah. Uh, I, I, going back to Saturday as well, it was yet another highlight reel knockout for you because it, it wasn't just you know, a win. It wasn't, it wasn't a point decision, was it? It was another highlight reel. It was another knockout of the year contender from you in, mm-hmm. front, in front of like the entire nation and, and, and also be across the pond as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you, with, with those, those viral moments make you kind of um, really help to make you an inspiration for future generations of, of fighters in general and not just like female fighters. And we saw The Rock paying tribute to you as well. When you put all of that into context, it's just mad, isn't it? Yeah, like, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day 2013, I was literally saving sandwiches in a sandwich shop. And then, like, you fast forward six years and then I, I won my first fight at UFC London. And then you fast forward an extra three years onto that. And then I've just done, within the space of four months, two spin and back elbow finishes, which people, four people have done in the whole... There's been five combat sports history and I've done two. Do you know what I mean? So um, it's it's actually amazing. And I just keep going on my phone and just like keep rereading. And the comments have been so positive and there's been so much love. And when people are trying to put shade or throw hate on me or Patrick, the internet's just like, why can't you let someone just be themselves? Like they're not forcing a message if asked the question, they respond with their with their answer and their opinion. And when they fight, they give everything that they have. Like, why can't people just let other people be like that? Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, to to say like the rocks being in touch, like Drake had done the fucking two and a half mil bet on us. It's just, it's so crazy. Do you get emotional when you think back to say ten or eleven years ago? when you were working in a sandwich shop, but, uh, you know, maybe, you know, struggling for money, do, do you think about those days and get emotional or do you just try and push them to one side? Lad, I was working in Subway. I was working in, in two bars, Passion and Rubber Soul. I still had to get, like, Wonga loans because I didn't get a student loan to get through uni. And there was times when I just thought, what the fuck is even, like, what, what's life worth living? And... and when I was trying to be a professional and I was coaching all the time and then I was nursing my dad and then I had to take a little break when he passed away and I was just thinking, it's just never got, am I ever going to get to that point? And then I won a world title and only got paid about £5,000 for it. I mean, it's like, well, is it even worth, is it worth it? Like, is it worth it? And then you just have to sit there and just think like, you see the moments and when I win in these big moments, you just see me go, oh, my God, because I know. And I've done an interview after the fight with Brett, Nach- Brett Nakamoto, or however you say, Okamoto, sorry. Yes. Um, and he goes, like, what, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? And I just went, I will be, I am now a global superstar, just like Paddy predicted, because I didn't think it, but he did. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, me- mental. Um, I know you mentioned as well, like bumping the train and stuff like that. Um, obviously, this week we've been going through like rail strikes, and obviously the media have kind of like, I feel like personally, like they've tried to distort it against the, the working people as someone from a working class background. Mm-hmm. Um, why do you do you think it, you know it's important that people back the, these workers? I think it's important always to back the union and to back the strike. Um, I've walked. Like, I've stood on a picket line, I've walked on marches. I remember even years ago at uni when, before they was going to put the money up for for students to go to to uh, university and, and when there was um, loads of stuff with the NHS, like, Liverpool's always got a strong foothold and anything to do with that and any injustice, I think it's always 
you have to stand up for what's right, even if it costs you something. Do you know what I mean? Um, I just don't think it's right. Inflation's hitting everyone. It's, it's hitting everyone. And um, I see that didn't someone in Labour get sacked um, yesterday because they went and stood the line. And you just think on a, on a political party that's built and founded on, on all the correct morals and on supporting everyone and not just the singular person. I just think it's so wrong and it's just, it's so hard to view and to be in this moment, isn't it? Because it's just so unjust and so unfair and um, it's just, it's just really hard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Molly, I, as always, really appreciate you putting, you putting the time away to chat to me. It's always a pleasure, and I know you're you're extremely busy, um, particularly after after the weekend. So I will let you crack on with the rest of the day. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. No, at all. Thanks for your time, boss. Um, but uh, thanks, thanks again. All the best, Molly. <laughs>